Nick Saban Nick Saban was wearing a Savk jacket when he arrived in Indianapolis, Indianapolis, Alabama. Nick Saban grew up in West Virginia and spent much of his coaching career in the North until his hire at LSU in 2000, so he is no stranger to cold weather. But Alabama playing a game in a bitter winter climate is unusual, so there was a novelty factor involved when Saban wore a tan leather jacket walking off his team's flight to Indianapolis on Friday night. More in Alabama sports. Georgia's 340-pound DL Jordan Davis admits conditioning was off again against Alabama. Nate Oates uses Herb Jones as lesson for J.D. Davison. Others. Has 70-year-old Nick Saban peaked, or is he still getting better? The jacket took social media by storm and was later revealed by Saban's daughter, Kristen Saban Cedars, to have been owned by her father for 30 years. It's a classic, she wrote in an Instagram story. Leather never goes out of style. A couple of Saban's players agreed. His jacket was very cool, Safety Jordan Battle said Saturday. I haven't seen Coach Saban in style like that, and to see that he has a little swag, it kind of brings joy to my heart quarterback Bryce Young, coach jacket was fly. Coach is always going to step into something we haven't seen before as a team, so that's to be expected. The temperature in Indianapolis was in the teens when Alabama landed Friday evening ahead of Monday's national championship game. The Tide and Georgia will meet inside climate-controlled Lucas Oil Stadium, but the outdoor temperature for the 8 p.m. Eastern time kickoff will be in the teens and falling to as low as single digits by Tuesday morning. Weekend temperatures are not expected to exceed 40 degrees. How come we're not doing this outside? Saban asked reporters gathered for an interview inside the Indianapolis airport Friday evening. This season marks the first time the college football playoff has held its championship game in Indianapolis since its inception in 2014, with Dallas, Phoenix, Tampa, Atlanta, San Francisco, New Orleans and Miami having hosted previous games. Los Angeles and Houston will be the, the next two sites, with Las Vegas and Miami reportedly coming after that. But Indianapolis is no stranger to hosting major winter events. It was the site of Super Bowl XLVI in 2012 has annually hosted the NFL Combine in late February and was the lone site for last March's NCAA men's basketball tournament. The city has indoor walkways connecting Lucas Oil Stadium to the adjacent convention center and several nearby hotels. We was coming up here to Indianapolis, we knew it was going to be real cold outside. He told us to grab a coat, running back Brian Robinson said. That was the coat he grabbed to keep himself warm for the time being out here. Battle, a native of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, said it was a great feeling to walk down the stairs off the plane and onto the tarmac in frigid weather. Young, a Pasadena, California native, said the reality of the national championship game set in when he got off the plane. You get out, it's obviously a different change in climate, he said. But you really get the realization that you're in this new environment. You know why you're here. Everyone understands what we're here for. So whenever you get that change in setting, it starts to get more and more real about what we've been working for knowing that the game's around the corner. It's always fun to play in different environments. But stepping out, it's really just that confirmation. When you get to the setting where you're going to play, you know what time it is. So for us it was all just that reassurance and that confirmation to know that what we're here for and it's time to lock in for that. Mike Rodick is an Alabama beat reporter for Alabama Media Group. Follow him on Twitter at Mike Rodak.